Welcome to the CAC series on animal behavior. This is the chapter on fitness. When someone refers to fitness, vigorous physical fitness likely comes to mind. However, in the field of biology, fitness is actually defined as the ability of an organism to contribute genes to the next generation, relative to other members of the same species. For instance, imagine that polar bear A is incredibly strong, but has not had any offspring. Polar bear B, on the other hand, may not be as strong as polar bear A, but she has had two pairs of surviving offspring, so she has a higher fitness than polar bear A. The two main components of fitness are survival and reproduction. Usually, the longer an organism survives, the more opportunities it will have to reproduce. As a result, organisms that are better suited to survive in their environment will be more likely to pass on their genes to the next generation, increasing the prevalence of adaptive traits in a population. This process is called natural selection, and it is the main process behind evolution. Thus, the ability to pass on genes is really the driving force of life. Accordingly, fitness is fundamental to the study of animal behavior. So far, we have discussed fitness in regards to direct fitness, the number of surviving offspring. But there are other ways to pass on one's genes to the next generation. Since siblings and other relatives share some of the same genes with an individual, aiding in their survival and reproduction would indirectly improve an individual's fitness. This combination of direct and indirect fitness is called inclusive fitness. Inclusive fitness is defined as the number of offspring reared to adulthood plus the increased fitness of relatives as a result of the individual's actions, weighted by how closely related they are. In other words, an individual who helps a sibling survive will have a higher inclusive fitness than one who helps a cousin survive because siblings share more common genes than cousins. Inclusive fitness is one way to explain the adaptive value of some altruistic behaviors or seemingly selfless behaviors, such as making an alarm call when a predator is detected. Making the alarm call draws attention to that individual, putting it at a greater risk of predation. However, if making the call increases the survival of other group members, and if those other group members are related to the one making the call, then it still will improve that individual's inclusive fitness. This is just one of the many examples that demonstrate the importance of understanding and considering fitness when studying animal behavior. Just remember that this definition of fitness is all about genes, not working out at the gym. <laughs>